guys, we're going to start our new assignment, which is selective coloring effect. The first thing we're going to do, uh, I sent you, um, I have two images that I've attached um, to the uh, to the assignment that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and open those up, just a little refresher uh, when opening up your documents. If you want to open up more than one at the time, uh, at a time, excuse me, you can just go to open. Um, and depending on where you loaded them, um, I usually go to keep them in my downloads or my desktop. So go ahead and when you go, I'm gonna go to my downloads and I will have right there under my downloads as soon as it opens, I will have my butterfly and my hot air balloon. So I'm gonna click on one and I'm gonna hit open. So you hold command on the Mac and shift on your PC. You can click on more than one file click on open and they will magically open in Photoshop. All right, so there you can see I have both um, images open. So I'm gonna do both of them for you today. Um, again, if you'd like to select any image um, you'd like, I'd like to, it would be great to select something colorful and also something that has a subject matter here would be the balloons and here obviously the butterfly. So I'm gonna start with the butterfly uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the butterfly, okay? Remember, you I'm going to use my quick selection tool. Remember, you can adjust the size of your quick selection tool with the brackets. I'm going to go ahead and just brush over this butterfly. Um, and again, we don't have to be perfectly exact. Um, this is just understanding uh, the adjustment layers, those non-destructive adjustment layers, kind of knowing how they work. So I'm going to go ahead and brush all the way over my butterfly here. Remember, you click and you hold down your mouse or your keypad, so it can get a little tricky, a little hairy, some of those areas there, but make sure that you do select all of the area of that butterfly. Like so, oh, there we go, towards the bottom. It takes about a, se it takes a second, and again, it's something that we can clean up after if we so desire. All right, so you have your selection made there, everything within that butterfly. Now, um, typically, typically I would um, add, I could add the layer mask and it would select it out, but what we're gonna use is an adjustment layer. Now the adjustment layer, um, there's a, several adjustment layers. There's black and white, hue and saturation, and we've seen those before. Um, this one we're gonna do black and white, but I don't want that butterfly to be black and white. And since I selected it, if I added that adjustment layer, it would make it black and white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, if I did this and I did black and white, you would see that the butterfly turns black and white um, on that layer mask. And I don't want that, okay? So I'm going to delete that layer, okay? What I want, oop, we got rid of the selection. Okay, so... I don't want that. I don't want that. Um, okay, I just I want the background to be black and white. So the way I do that is I right click on the inside and I hit select inverse. What it does is it selects that background instead of that butterfly. Now when I adjust that adjust when I add that adjustment layer, which is the black and white cookie there, the half black half white circle and I hit black and white, it makes the background black and white. And I can adjust, and as you can see in that layers panel, that what it does, it, it adds a mask, okay? It adds a mask just to that area. Again, so this is non-destructive. It is not affecting this bottom background layer at all, okay? Now, when I adjust these cyans, and you'll see it's color, but what it's doing is it's changing basically the value of those colors. Each of those colors has a certain value so you can go ahead and change the darks, make them darker, make it a little more appealing. But again, it does not change that butterfly at all because of that layer mask. And that's basically how you would add black and white uh, to an image, keep the subject in color. You could turn this in. Now for the hot air balloons, we're gonna do the same thing, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select one balloon like this, and then I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select this other balloon. I'm not gonna do them all, 
I'm just going to do the one, two balloons that are next to each other. And you can actually, if you want, you can do maybe the bottom one here. It might be interesting. It might be cool. And I'm going to do the same thing, okay? I'm going to select the inverse, select inverse, and I'm going to add that adjustment layer, black and white adjustment layer. And you can see right off the bat, it does the same exact thing. It adds that layer mask. And I can go ahead and adjust if I want the the value of those the black and white layers kind of maybe make them a little less important than the colored areas so that's basically the assignment it's turning something to black and white using a layer mask there's several different ways that you can do this but like i said it is just as easy as um, making that selection and adding it non-destructive editing remember if I hide that, it has not affected, and you can see the difference, okay? Just with that one, and then on the butterfly, the same thing. If I hide that top layer, if I had that hide that adjustment layer on top, okay? It's non-destructive editing. It does not affect the original ed the original image. So that is uh, really one of the greatest things about Photoshop too is you can do some non-destructive editing with just a simple click of a button. Um, so that is it. Just go ahead and save the assignment that you'd like. Uh, if you did one of your own images, save that and turn it in.